Hi there, my name is Peter and I will be your commentator for this battle. The only key building on this map is the shrine, and enemy and I both deploy close to it in order to capture it. This is when I notice something interesting. I have not only played against this player before, but also done a commentary video about it. Here's a link to that battle, where the enemy had an army build made only out of matchlocks and cavalry. But they can also see that he no longer uses great guard or katana cavalry but a mix out of monks and Ashigaru units, and has added some units from the downloadable content, and on top of all that, a firebomb thrower unit. All in all, this should turn out to be a pretty interesting battle. I have deployed my sword units behind the shrine, and sent two cavalry units there as well, while I took the initiative and got my bow units to the forest first. This way I have secured a big advantage in the bow skirmish, as my units have plenty of cover while the enemy is exposed in the valley. He has sent two matchlock monks to his flank without any support. I'm guessing that he wanted to use them against my infantry or just stop me from capturing the shrine. As his units have no support, I take that first volley with my cavalry in loose formation and then charge his matchlocks. The only bad thing I do here is to not go back to close formation, as that would have done more damage to his units in the initial charge. The enemy general stopped my advance by counter charging with his Naginata monkia but also charging through his own unit, he damaged it further. On my second cav unit though, he got a much better charge. While that is happening, I am sending the rest of my cavalry to the other flank, to go around and attack from the right. While my bow units are taking out his own bow units, and I get a great whistling volley that reduces his reload rate on several units. My bow samurai that fire off the whistling arrows have shorter range, and therefore ensure that my bow monks are safe from any whistling arrow friendly fire, and allow all his three bow monks to be affected. I have now secured the victory in the bow skirmish. Now back to the left flank, we can see that my cavalry has no problem fighting his monk cav, while the enemy fails to micro his two Yaryo Shigaru to help them. He is too busy trying to set up his matchlocks in a position for them to fire off a volley. Sometimes even the cheapest unit is a better solution and the right tool for the job, rather than an expensive one. I now use my cav to charge his matchlocks again, and as they are overlapping I need only one unit to engage his boat, and his Yaria Shigaru are still just standing around. The enemy's boats are heavily damaged, but he manages to use his matchlock Shigaru to shoot at my cavalry, but is again using the wrong unit. The forest is plenty cover for my bows and his arrows have done little damage, but now finally my other two units of cavalry are closing in for the attack. As all enemy cavalry is engaged on his other flank, I have no opposition. As the enemy has lost the bow skirmish, he is now advancing forward with his matchlocks. We can see here that with the help of my bows I have routed the enemy Naginata cav and one of his bowmans while I'm going to lose one of my own cavalry units. My now very damaged Grey Guard unit keeps up going after his matchups and is close to routing them. The RE cavalry just routed because of their lower morale and the enemy's matchup fire. My Great Guard unit is still in high morale but is now charged in the back by the enemy remaining Naginata cav. But the reinforcements are incoming and they will survive. They route one of the matchup monks and then engage his Naginata cav but are now coming under fire by the other matchlock unit. The first great guard unit is now joined by the second one, and they route the enemy's remaining Naginata cavalry. The matchlock unit is now heavily depleted and cannot do much damage to now charging great guard units. That was the end of that. Now, while my cavalry was wreaking havoc on his flank, the enemy continued his advance. I deployed the general in the stand and fight formation, well, let's say about 5 minutes late, as the boss skirmish is already long over, another of the mistakes that I often make. I am also late with moving my samurai bow unit that is destroyed in the match of volley, and also late in the sending of Yari Ashigaru forward, as I was constantly expecting for the enemy cavalry to come out of the forest and attack my boss or my general. As I had my cavalry so far away, it was a good precaution, but could have cost me a lot as my Arya Shigaru are the only thing standing between the enemy's army and my bow units and my general. 
I use this sling arrows again, but miss his matchlocks, only debuffing his firebomb throwers. And I also debuff my own Yaria Shigaru, whose morale is low as it is, and this was a really bad thing to do. You can really notice how my micro gets progressively worse as the battle is heating up, especially because I have my units on so many different parts of the battlefield. Another example is right here, where I charge at his general with my cavalry. No brainer, right? Only problem is, he's very smart and sends his general between his two units of Yari Shigaru after losing all his cavalry. And that is what happens when you send cavalry on a charge as fire and forget rockets. They can miss and that can cost you a lot. The enemy can now use his Borean Nuns for a back attack at my cavalry. And he's just pouring salt on my wounds. At least my own Yari Shigaru managed to be as useful. They blocked his main army body, allowing me to reposition my bowmax and get my general to my sword infantry. You can notice that the sword infantry almost captured the shrine while they were waiting for new orders, and that is why I have moved my bowmax so they can finish the capturing. But no morale bonus can stop the Yari Shigaru from routing against overwhelming odds. Sacrifices sometimes just have to be made. I finally pull out what was left of my two cavalry units that charge the enemy general and send one unit just to tie him down until the sword infantry gets here. My general ended up on the wrong side of my infantry because I failed to dismount him so that his own run speed would match the katana samurai run speed. But the one cave unit I left to tie down his Yari Shigaru protected him from their spears. Now I have buffed my sword units to the maximum. I have inspired one katana samurai, used bonsai on the no dachi, and also used the rally ability a bit prematurely. But since I have to get to stand and fight formation as soon as possible, I had to use it right away. The enemy here used his long swords to take out my bowmans. The enemy was just getting ready to unleash his matchlock unit on my melee blob, but the salvage cavalry from the last failed attack stomped his plants into the ground. They will now get attacked by his Yari Shigaru, but they have done more than I could have hoped. Now the enemy unleashes his final weapon, as his firebomb throwers take out many units in this bunch. Only problem is, he does more damage to himself than me. He busted up the morale on his last few remaining units and now they all rout. 